Silicons and thermoplastic elastomers are both elastomeric materials that are flexible and offer good elongation and return to shape, which makes them great alternatives to natural and synthetic rubber. There is a really large range of both that vary dramatically in their physical characteristics and their properties and performance. The decision as to which to use is not really economic at this point as there are such a different range of them and actually the price points are quite similar, for example on FDA approved and class 6 silicones versus thermoplastic elastomers, the price points are really pretty much the same. So both require um, specialist expertise, so silicon actually requires specialist equipment um, customised uh, specifically for producing silicon, whereas thermoplastic elastomers do actually use standard plastic injection moulding um, machinery, but because it's a different type of material it does also require a different level of expertise. Both materials look quite similar and are actually quite difficult to distinguish, but you can actually ascertain um, which is which by holding a flame to them. Um, so if you hold a flame to silicon, it will not uh, change its shape or deteriorate in any way, whereas if you hold a flame to a thermoplastic elastomer, it will melt and probably burn. Which brings us on to one of the main advantages of silicone, which is its temperature performances. As a thermoset material, silicon, once it's been cured, cannot be reprocessed. So in a way that can offer a slight disadvantage, but from a temperature perspective, it means that silicon can withstand temperatures up to about 350 degrees centigrade or down to as low as minus 100 degrees centigrade. Um, and that's kind of like the extremes of the temperature performance. But at a continual use, we can even find silicons that can uh, be used up to 200 degrees centigrade continual use. Whereas thermoplastic elastomers pretty much hold their physical properties around room temperature, but they don't perform well at high or low temperatures. So that's one of the major advantages of a silicon. The second major advantage of silicone is that it's hypoallergenic. So in body contact applications and in healthcare, it really is the gold standard. It's also salt, moisture and corrosion resistant and also resistant to chemicals and to UV. So even though that's an advantage of silicone, with thermoplastic elastomers, they can actually be formulated to have better chemical resistance and UV stabiliser additive can be added to improve its performance. So this really brings us on then to the advantages of thermoplastic elastomers, the first of which is that it is a copolymer and so because of that it can be formulated to meet a number of different physical properties and requirements. So for example silicones have a tendency to be quite tacky on the surface and therefore to attract dirt, whereas thermoplastic elastomers can be formulated to be non-tacky and to be dirt repelling. So another advantage of TPEs is with regards to shore hardness, so actually they have similar comparable shore hardnesses. So from, for silicone it kind of ranges from about 3 to about 80 uh, gerometer A, whereas for thermoplastic elastomers we're talking more about 20 to about 95 gerometer A. This means that if hardness is a real priority, a thermoplastic elastomer could just actually be the right choice, although obviously there is a big range of both silicones and thermoplastic elastomers. A third advantage of thermoplastic elastomers over silicones is that thermoplastic elastomers bond readily to other plastics, whereas silicone struggles to bond to anything other really than silicone. It can be bonded to metal, but you might require a mechanical bond, whereas actually for a chemical bond, thermoplastic elastomers would be the better choice. So finally, because they're not a thermoset material, thermoplastic elastomers can be reprocessed and recycled thousands and thousands of times if necessary, giving a clear environmental benefit for thermoplastic elastomers. So in summary, whilst there are lots of similarities between thermoplastic elastomers and silicones in terms of their appearance and in terms of some of their um, elastomeric uh, properties, there are actually lots of big differences that need to be taken account of and will make one or other more suitable for your particular application.